Hello guys, I'm Ines Ivanova and I'm guest lecturer to this channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, toaster notifications. So, uh, let's begin. I'm, I'm going to show you right now a link which is very beautiful and very well explained how you can add toaster notification to your project. Uh, they are very well described, so step by step what you should do in order to include your toaster notification in your angular project please be aware of that uh, the current version of uh, toaster which is 12 i believe uh, is working only with angular 9 if you're using angular 8 and try to install the latest version of toaster notifications which is 12 uh, at the time of recording this video you're not going to be able to do so and uh, start the, your project with this version of those notifications. So, um, if we go and click this tutorial, you can see that it's very well explained and here they're creating a purely new application and a new component uh, after that. And you can see that here we have uh, some HTML, of course, a, a CSS. Here we start adding the important things for using our toaster library. So first thing first, we need to install this library right here. So I'm going to put this. And after that, if you haven't installed Angular animation, you should install it otherwise if you have it already in your project you don't have to go through this step of course if you do it it doesn't matter because it does not going to change anything so as you see here on the next step we should go to angular.json and we should modify our styles array and we should include the style of, of toaster once we have installed through npm our um, toaster ngx toaster that means we have it in our local node modules and we have it in package.json also as a dependency as you can see here we can go to not this but package.json and you can see here that we have ngx toaster uh, with current version 12 Okay, so now we have to add in angular.json here in the styles array, we have to add this row, which is getting the CSS of our application uh, for toaster library. Okay, and the uh, next step would be to include this browser animation model and toaster model in our app model. So, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to app module. And here I'm going to register the two things. As you can see, I have browser animation model, so I'm going to add toaster model dot for root. Uh, we should do this uh, in order to work. If you don't uh, say dot for root, it's not going to work properly. So the next step is to decide where we are going to use this toaster service. I want to include this. Uh, I want to use this in my error interceptor service so i'm going to copy this and import it to my service where i want to be this toaster be used so i'm going to put that here and because it is a service i'm going to inject that as a dependency in our constructor so it's going to be toaster service of type toaster service after that we need to use it so instead of alerting our user about some error, I'm going to use this dot toaster service. And if I uh, type dot, you can see a different, a bunch of methods and properties that I can use. So here, the most common are dot success, which is uh, for green um, notification, which says, okay, um, everything goes okay. Whatever you want to notify your user was a successful um, a successful step here we have warning uh, which uh, could be also be used and here we have error so i'm going to use error because we are in the error interceptor and inside we can put our message so basically i can go one step before that and say let message is equal to an empty message and here i can redefine every time 
my message saying that message on this error would be equal to string which will be token has expired or you should be logged in and of course we can uh, redefine every time messages for shortest now I'm going to delete that and here I'm going just to again say the status removing alert taking that putting that here with 400 and of course I'm going to take this and put it right before the return statement with this message and here I'm going to say that for every other error it will be unexpected error so if I save that and if I go and start the server if it isn't started it isn't I'm going to start that and refresh this have we started yes we have so if I refresh that and of course if I try to enter with wrong credentials as you can see here we have our error interceptor which is working and we have this notification from toaster I hope this was very useful of course you can use that everywhere you want let's say that you want to uh, create post and after you have successfully created a post you want to notify the user by using this toaster notification everywhere in your angular application when you want to use this toaster service you just have to go and take this import or from ngs toaster put it in your typescript where you want to use it of course you have to inject it through the constructor with private statement toaster service and after that saying that this is a type toaster service and of course you can use it whatever whenever you want to use this with whatever you want so here i'm going to use success and here i'm going to put if i save that go here and say that i want to go to cats create or it was just create i'm not sure let's see create yeah and if i go and grab some photo of cat and put it here and after that make some description and click create if we go to network and see that it is created successfully we will have this alert here which is also saying success so that was the case when you can use these notifications of course you can use it whatever your purpose is so if you find this video helpful please like comment subscribe whatever it is needed to show us that you value what we have done for you and of course if you're bulgarian and understand bulgarian language please go down below click the link to my channel and subscribe to it also thanks bye